you're not just learning to write, but you're writing to learn. Hello, fans of SRSD. My name is Randy Barth from SRSD Online and Writing to Learn. You're watching the SRSD Mentor Series, helping you change student lives forever. This episode is on how SRSD modeling strategies dramatically improve student writing and learning skills. SRSD is the leading research-based method for teaching writing to learn. On today's episode, we have two SRSD experts. Please welcome Karen Harris. Karen is the creator of SRSD and researcher at the Mary Lou Fulton Teachers College and Britt Sykes. Britt is an SRSD coach from Arkansas State University. Karen, tell us what happens when you add SRSD modeling techniques to what I call the general modeling that is used by teachers today. Many teachers today model, and it can be anything from demonstrating step-by-step -step and talking a little bit as you go, to really thinking out loud about what you're doing and why you're doing it. And what SRSD adds is that we not only think about what we're doing, how to do it, but we also think about how to manage our own behavior while we work. We think about coping with frustration, or we think about managing distraction. And also, we talk about monitoring ourselves. Am I using everything I know? Did I do step one? Have I got three reasons? And then when we're doing well, we reinforce ourselves. Karen, how did we get here? What's the history and science behind SRSD modeling? In the olden days, modeling often didn't include much of anything allowed. And then around the 80s, we began having a great deal of research on self-talk and self-instruction. This is when Meichenbaum's work and Kendall's work showed that teaching kids to self-talk could help anxiety, kids with persistence, engagement. A while back, we recorded Karen talking about the types of self-instructions. Let's listen in. Dr. Meichenbaum broke self-instructions down into six types. First, problem definition. What is it I have to do here? What do I know that will help me get this done right? The second is called focusing, attention, and planning. I need to stay focused on the task at hand, and I need to use what I know to create a plan to get this done. The third type is strategy self-instructions. These are the self-instructions that relate to the steps in the strategy, such as, I need at least three reasons. Hmm, what do I know about what makes a good reason? Type four is self-evaluation and error correcting. Here, the model or the student is saying to themselves, do I have three reasons? Oh, no, I don't. I know what I need to do. I need to think of one more good reason. Type five is coping and self-control. This can include coping with frustration, coping with wanting to quit or being tired of working, and six, self-reinforcement. This is often done in conjunction with self-evaluation. I needed three good reasons. Do I have at least three? Yes, I do. That's great. Self-reinforcement is very simple and should occur very naturally based on meeting your goals. Thanks, Karen. Now let's talk to Britt Sykes. Britt, You've been implementing SRSD modeling in the classroom for years. Tell us what it's like and why it's so important. So modeling for students is important because they get to see the thinking that you are working on as a writer. You make that very explicit and visible for them. And also because each type of writing is different, they need to see what's expected of that genre or that task. And then they also get to be part of the process of deciding what information to include and what to do with it. So one thing I noticed is when I first did SRSD, they caught on so quickly, like a couple of days and they were already marked improvement in their writing. And also with just their stamina and their ability to just sit and start and, and stick through it. And then as they have a couple of weeks in, then they become even more sophisticated with their actual feedback to each other. But just in the beginning, it can sound a little pretend. Read. Gosh, my hands are getting tired. Ooh, ooh, it's a lot of writing. What can I do? I'm done, I think. I can't write anymore. Didn't even finish my sentence. You got to keep going. I have to keep going. Well, how can I, like, I need some help here. This is hard, but I have the tools to help me. 
but kids really, really like it. They receive it so well. I may sound like a third grader, but I don't feel like I'm talking down to them. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Britt. If you'd like to ask them more about how SRSD modeling techniques improves writing, email us at info at srsdonline.com.